letter 4, topic 7, trigonometry function, subtopic, solution of trigonometry equation. Learning outcome. At the end of the lesson, students should appear to expect a sine theta plus minus b cos theta in the form of r sine theta plus minus alpha or r cos theta minus plus alpha. Solve a sine theta plus minus b cos theta equal to c using r sine theta plus minus alpha or r cos theta minus plus alpha. Determine the maximum and minimum value of trigonometry expression in the form of a sine theta plus minus b cos theta. E. Expect a sine theta plus minus b cos theta in the form of r sine theta plus minus alpha or r cos theta minus plus alpha. The expansion a cos theta plus b sine theta can be expected in the form r cos theta minus alpha where r greater than 0 and alpha is between 0 degree until 19 degree. Let r cos theta minus alpha equal to a cos theta plus b sine theta. Then r cos theta cos alpha plus r sine theta sine alpha equal to a cos theta plus b sine theta. Equal the coefficient of cos theta, we will get r cos alpha is equal to a for first equation. Equal the coefficient of sine theta, we get r sine alpha equal to b for second equation. First equation square plus second equation square. We get r square cos square alpha plus r square sine square alpha equal to a square plus b square. Factor line does r square, so we have cos square alpha plus sine square alpha. We know that cos square alpha plus sine square alpha is equal to 1. Okay, so we get this r square is equal to a square plus b square, or r is equal to square root of a square plus b square. Second equation divided by first equation, so we get r sine alpha over r cos alpha equal to b over a. For the r, we can simplify sine over cos equal to tangent, so we get tangent alpha is equal to b over a. And the expansion a cos theta plus b sine theta can be expected in the form r cos theta minus alpha where r equal to square root of a square plus b square and tangent alpha equal to b over a. We conclude that a cos theta plus minus b sine theta equal to r cos theta minus plus alpha, where r equal to square root of a square plus b square and tangent alpha equal to b over a. For a sine theta plus minus b cos theta equal to r sine theta plus minus alpha, where r equal to square root of a square plus b square and tangent alpha equal to b over a. Example 1. Expect 2 cos theta plus 3 sine theta in the form of r cos theta minus alpha, where r greater than 0 and alpha is between 0 degree and 19 degree. The instruction for question is expect 2 cos theta plus 3 sine theta in the form of r cos theta minus alpha. So we will let 2 cos theta plus 3 sine theta equal to r cos theta minus alpha. For this r, we just copy back. And then we know that formula for cos a minus b equal to cos a cos b plus sine a sine b. So for this case, our a is equal to theta, our b is equal to alpha. So cos theta minus alpha equal to cos theta cos alpha plus sine theta sine alpha. So as pen, we will get r cos theta cos alpha plus r sine theta sine alpha. Compare the coefficient for the cos theta for both sides. So for the light side, coefficient of cos theta is r cos theta alpha and then the, for the left side coefficient of cos theta is equal to 2 so we form the first equation r cos alpha is equal to 2 next we compare the coefficient of sine theta for the left side we get is r sine alpha and then the left side we get is 3 so we can form the second equation r sine alpha is equal to 3 
So now we want to determine the value of R and alpha. So from this case, our A is equal to 2 and then our B is equal to 3. So R is equal to square root of A square plus B square. So R is equal to square root of 2 square plus 3 square. So it's equal to 13. And then tangent alpha is equal to B over A. So our tangent alpha is equal to 3 over 2. Then we get alpha is equal to 56.3 degree. So we substitute R and alpha inside. So we will get 2 cos theta plus 3 sin theta equal to 13 cos theta minus 56.3 degree. F soft A sine theta plus minus B cos theta equal to C using R sine theta plus minus alpha or R cos theta minus plus alpha. Example 2, expect 4 sine 2 theta minus 3 cos 2 theta in the form R sine 2 theta minus alpha where R greater than 0 and alpha is between 0 degree and 19 degree. Hence, solve the equation 4 sine 2 theta minus 3 cos 2 theta equal to 3. For theta is between 0 degree until 360 degree and equals both. For sine 2 theta minus 3 cos 2 theta equal to R sine 2 theta minus alpha. For the R, we just copy back. So we know that's formula for sine A minus B equal to sine A cos B minus cos A sine B. So from this case, our A is equal to 2 theta, our B is equal to alpha. So sine 2 theta minus alpha equal to sine 2 theta cos alpha minus cos 2 theta sine alpha. As then, we will get R sine 2 theta cos alpha minus R cos 2 theta sine alpha. Now we compare the coefficient of sine 2 theta for both sides. So for light side, Coefficient of the sine 2 theta is R cos alpha. And then coefficient of sine 2 theta for left side is 4. So we can guess R cos alpha is equal to 4 for first equation. Next, we compare the coefficient of cos 2 theta for both sides. For the light side, coefficient of the cos 2 theta is negative R sine alpha. And then coefficient of cos 2 theta for the left side is negative 3. Or we just multiply with negative 1. So we get R sine alpha is equal to 3. We can form the second equation. So for this case, our A is equal to 4. Our B is equal to 3. So we want to find the R. We know that formula for R is equal to square root A square plus B square. So we substitute A is equal to 4, B is equal to 3. So we we'll get R is equal to 5. Formula for tangent alpha is equal to B over A. So we substitute, okay, B is equal to 3, A is equal to 4. So we get tangent alpha equal to 3 over 4. And alpha is equal to 36.87 degree. So if we get the value of R and alpha, so we can substitute inside. So we get this 4 sine 2 theta minus 3 cos 2 theta equal to 5 sine 2 theta minus 36.87 degree. Next, we want to solve the equation 4 sine 2 theta minus 3 cos 2 theta equal to 3. So we use the preview result. We know that sine 2 theta minus 3 cos 2 theta equal to 5 sine 2 theta minus 36.87 degree. And then this 5 multiple move to light side become divide. So we will get sine 2 theta minus 36.87 degree equal to 3 over 5. Add sine for 3 over 5 is equal to 36.87 degree. So we get this alpha is equal to 36.87 degree. We know that sine is positive for first quadrant and second quadrant. For first quadrant, theta is equal to alpha. 
for second quadrant, theta equal to 118 degree minus alpha. Given that the range of theta from 0 degree until 360 degree. So the range of 2 theta from 0 degree until 720 degree. And the range of 2 theta minus 36.87 degree is from negative 36.87 degree until 683.13 degree. So we will get this 2 theta minus 36.87 degree for first quadrant is alpha. So for this case, our alpha equal to 36.87 degree. And then for second quadrant is 118 degree minus 36.87 degree. And then we know that the range of 2 theta minus 36.87 degree greater than 316 degree. So after they rotate from one complete circle, they need to continue. So we just add this 316 degree plus 36.87 degree. And 316 degree plus 118 degree minus 36.87 degree. Negative 36.87 degree move to light side become positive. So we will get 2 theta equal to 73.74 degree, 118 degree, 433.74 degree, 514 degree and theta equal to 36.87 degree, 19 degree, 216.87 degree, and 217 degree.